trouble with the magic community for giving away secrets. They're not going to tell us how this next trick works, but if you pay attention, you will learn a few important principles of magic. Take it away, Penn and Teller! You're right, Allison. We do like to let people a little bit on the inside for the reason we do this show. We, uh, there's a term of art used in magic, misdirection. And that word, especially recently, has been used more and more by lay people. People that aren't in the magic community use the word misdirection. If you read editorials or a pundit speaking, they'll say misdirection a lot. And the way lay people use it is wrong. Well, not wrong. You can't really use words wrong. They grow, they change. But less nuanced than magicians use it. When lay people use the word misdirection, they often mean it as a, as a synonym for distraction. Like, hey, look over there. I do something sneaky over here. And then when you come back, the, the magic's done. And the problem with that is that doesn't work. If you know you're distracted, look away. When you come back, you aren't fooled at all. But when magicians use the word misdirection, it's more complicated. It's more kind of a, a curating of attention, deciding the story that you want the audience to tell themselves. Now, this is a story of a vanishing chicken. Now, when I say it's a vanishing chicken and let you know the chicken's going to disappear, I'm already starting to misdirect you, already giving you the story. Now, we're going to do this in a really pure form because in, a, in another magic show, this chicken would have some cute little name like Clucky McCluckface or something. But no, just a chicken. And the chicken coop would be dressed as like a rocket ship or a train or something, and it'd be some story. But no, we're not talking about that kind of story. This is just a chicken coop. But once you're thinking the chicken is going to disappear, I already know a lot about the story you're telling yourselves. When I cover it up like this, I kind of know what you're thinking. I kind of know where your thinking is going, what you're focusing on, what you're concentrating on. And I know that you've decided that at no time will you allow your attention to wander. <laughs> misdirection. This trick used misdirection. Let me just see how we're doing so far. Can I have the house lights up, please, guys? Put the house lights up. I just want to see a show of hands. How many of you saw the gorilla with the symbols? Should be all of you. It's a gorilla with symbols. <laughs> now, a subset of that, how many of you saw Teller come out, cop the chicken, and split? Okay. Now, let's talk about misdirection. How many of you saw sneak the gorilla into the cage? Okay, that's, that's many fewer. That's... Misdirection. Thanks, Thanks for that. Wow, well, it's time for our show to go to bed, but we'll wake it up soon. Watch a fully recharged fool us when we return. Good night. Good night.